Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. In this session, I have already opened up the VisualStudio.net tool, and uh, in this tool, I have already created a web project called Experiment Data Management. I have not started anything yet. I'm going to work on something, provide additional code inside this project so that I can create a staff record inside the staff table residing inside the web a underscore database in my computer the purpose of this project is that i would like to go and experiment how to go and provide c sharp code so that i can finally create staff record inside the staff table which is residing inside a database having the name called web a underscore database on my laptop okay so let us begin inside the visual studio.net of course i need to go and tell the visual studio.net something dear visual studio.net i'm going to right click on the project title and i'm actually going to ask you to create a new folder the new folder is actually going to be called app underscore code so the visual studio.net will say of course no problem then within the app underscore code i have not finished i will right click and i tell the visual studio.net this add new items sir what is the new item it is a class file it is not a web file it is a class file and this class file is going to be called c stuff manager oh yes 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 i'm going to work on you baby so i'm going to add the class file so i have successfully added a class file called c staff manager.cs inside the app underscore code now visual studio.net provide good service it provides us so many code automatically and all this code well I also don't know so let us carry on ladies and gentlemen all I know is I need to go and tell the visual studio.net that I need this I need to use not uh, use what use system dot data and I need to go and tell the visual studio.net or the .net engine I need to use use what system dot data dot data dot SQL client okay so the visual studio.net will say that okay okay you want to use system.data i let you have it okay okay you want to use system.data.sql client i let you have it but uh what is it for so you you see uh, the visual studio.net will just treat all these as text do you know why or not because this class file uh, is actually set to content in other words the visual studio.net will just treat this as a another text file i need to go and say put it inside your brain put it inside your brain but there's no option called put it inside your brain it is called compile so okay put it inside your brain called compile round well, then after that the next thing is that oh oh okay okay you want to use system.data why do we need system.data i need to power up my code i need to power up my code uh, power up my code so that so that what so that i can create special variables to hold database record information so that what so that i can what so that i can create i can create special variables free one free one okay special variables to hold database information information records anything right anything to do with database right in other words that i need to create special variables why because those variables such as like uh such as like string full name and all this stuff or like uh int uh index and uh, these variables can be used to hold database information or records okay i need system.data to empower me to create such special variables what about using system.data.sql client right i need this so that my code has the intelligence intelligence to do what intelligence to communicate right communicate with who communicate with this baby here this what database here okay so i need this library so that my code has the intelligence to communicate with database right that's all it has 
and that is the meaning of providing these two lines okay get it now let me continue so i'm going to provide code soon right i'm going to provide code soon definitely i must provide code inside the uh the the class manager section here right correct or not right so in other words that right now this public class uh c staff manager i need to go and provide some code right provide what i need to go and provide code quite a number of lines right so that so that what so that i can create staff records inside the staff table in my database right so i need to go and provide code there are a lot of lines of code that i need to go and provide so i need to group them up after grouping like building up a football team you need to give it a team name like manchester united okay anyone who is a fan of Liverpool, you are my enemies okay now let's continue so this one i'm actually going to say i will name this as at one staff right too bad i cannot put at one girlfriend okay right so too bad that's too bad so it is what at one staff okay okay that's boring that's boring now then after that if you want to go and add one staff i need to open his mouth oh, i need to open his mouth wide wide big big why because in order to add a staff i need someone out there which is akan datang which is going to come in soon i need to build web forms that will have text boxes to provide information right so i need to go and build up the parameters here so i need to provide information such as the uh such as the full name information of the staff such as the mm, let me see the uh, date of birth information of the staff and uh, also like for example the uh, the department record id so i need to go and provide information such as the department record id so i'm actually what am i doing i'm actually creating three input parameters for the add one staff so that the code that i'm going to provide inside this at one staff so that the code i can that i'm going to provide soon inside this section can use these information that will be supplied by the web form soon to create staff records inside the database okay the code inside here will definitely take in all these information to create staff record inside the database but i need to go and make this code public so that people can use it so i put the public here and of course it, this method must respond something like for example uh dear have you thrown out the rubbish yes yes means what one dear have you thrown out the rubbish no not yet means what zero so it's either one or zero have you created a record inside the staff table yes so it is one if it is have you created the record inside the database no means it is zero so of course what is the data type it is int data type okay but well as a guy i always like to say no and you notice that right now the visual studio.net is complaining say that it's a yellow line uh, it's a red line here right right the code does not return a value notice that what is what did he say notice that the code not all code paths return a value so it is complaining then i will just fake one out say yes it is returning a value all right so this one is actually a dummy one i'm returning a value of zero right i'm not a yes man i'm a no man right so i'll return a value of zero but is this the final correct code this line is not the final correct code okay right it is just a line of code so that i can ask the visual studio.net please don't display that ugly red line that increased my high blood pressure okay so continue the next session to see how i'm going to work on the code inside this section that will successfully create staff record inside the database thank you very much